Allegra here. Today I am doing a vlog. I used to do kind of, I guess, vlogs back in the day, and then I got kind of shy about them because I didn't feel like I had anything really important to say. There's so many videos out there that I didn't know why I was even thinking that I could add to anything. But I've been watching a lot of permaculture, homestead, off-grid living videos out there. And I saw some off-grid videos of women living by themselves. And it really kind of inspired me to make this video because I've been living semi off grid, not full off grid because I have electricity, I have internet, but no running water in where I'm living. The purpose of this video is for me to hopefully provide you with some hope if you're out there living off grid or living an alternative lifestyle, I guess it's called. And if you're in a situation where you feel like it's never going to get good or it's a mess, because I'm, I'm currently in a situation, I'm sitting right here because this is the most attractive spot in the whole cabin. <laughs> Everywhere is a mess. Everywhere is a mess. And so I'm hoping to be able to share with you my process of improving this place. The goal is to make this place into a beautiful studio living space and it's really far from that right now so it's going to take a long time and I want to share that process with you all and I want to make this vlog and give you some hope out there if you're in any kind of situation similar to mine. Our cabin is, it's less than 300 square feet. It's, it's not a tiny house, but it's a small house. It's a small cabin. And we have no running water, which I actually don't mind. And it's, it makes you be creative. And so we have water collection ability. Not, not rain collection yet, but we have other sources. where We get our water from a well that's on the property. And, but it's a hike, so we have to replenish our big jugs of water every week. And we also have a hose system running from the pump house that um, runs to, it's four hoses that run to a tankless water heater that we bought. But the water heater um, allows us to take showers and to wash dishes now, which is, it's unbelievable. It's so great. So there's that and also I guess just dealing with having to just be very patient. My husband is gone a lot and he works away from home for months or weeks at a time. So a lot of the time I'm by myself and I have to do a lot of things by myself. One time when he was gone, he came back after he was gone for 11 weeks and he came back and I had built us an outhouse. So <laughs> actually I'm going to go off on a tangent here with that outhouse. I don't want it to be an outhouse anymore. I'm actually in the process of tearing it down. So we are in a in an in-between period right now of not having a bathroom. So I am going to build a more compostable type system that it's not an outhouse because when you poop in the ground, you're potentially poisoning the groundwater. So I'm going to come up with another system where we collect number two in a big bucket and then either go store it out with a lid for a few years to make sure that everything is completely dead. Anyway, the outhouse situation, that's another thing. It's just, there's so many challenges. It's, the patience aspect is huge. So the story I was gonna tell was when we first moved into the cabin, my husband immediately, it was, it was kind of a transition period for us. I was living in Texas and then we came back up here to the Pacific Northwest 
and I was living in the cabin by myself because he went off to work for 12, it was 11, 12 weeks, something like that. And I lit this room, this cabin has two rooms and I lived in one room. This room that I'm in right now was filled just with wood, wood, tools, random shelving, all kinds of stuff. And the logs were not sealed up near the top where the roof meets the logs. And so rats and squirrels were getting in here. And so I, you know, daily I would come out and fill in a new gap and still there would be holes. And so I just made the best of it in that other room. And I paint, I'm a painter and I'm an artist as well. So I would just paint and I would drink my wine and I would paint and I would drink my wine. And then I would just like paint and drink and listen to music and then pass out just so I didn't have to deal with the sound of the rats gnawing and screaming in this room. So <laughs> that was totally self-destructive. I couldn't live like that anymore. So now when I drink wine, I do it just, you know, just to get drunk. So just cause I can. There, so there's that. Now the rat problem is pretty much taken care of. Every once in a while we'll see a mouse or a rat, but we keep, we leave traps out and we have lots of owls around here. So that's good. But we do have squirrels and I like the squirrels, so I don't want to trap them, but we've managed the, the rodent issue pretty well. So we're, we're constantly improving, but there's always, I, I always feel like I'm at the light is just at the end of the tunnel with this place, but something always comes up. And I think that's just how it is with life anyway. So we are definitely in an in-between process with how I envision this cabin being. And that can be really frustrating, but I hope that over the next several months, you will be able to see the improvement of this place and then I can focus on other videos doing more project oriented videos and and I'll still do them now in between because I, I have to do fun stuff in between and we have been getting this October has been the mo the last October we're now in November but it's been on record according to the sources I heard today on record we've had the most rainfall ever recorded in this October. So I've been kind of stuck inside a lot, but whenever there is a little bit of a rain break, I try to get outside and get some work done. So I'll be chopping down some trees for firewood and working on the garden and moving the sink and the shower and moving and actually building a new bathroom or compostable toilet, I guess, kind of, I don't know. We'll see. But it's not going to be an outhouse. That's the important thing. And it's going to be nice because we do have friends over. I want to have guests over to come visit me in open studio. And they need a place to go to the bathroom. So that's that. And I, I, hope, I hope that those of you out there who are watching this video who are either are living off-grid or homesteading or want to, I hope that my videos will be some sense of comfort and hope and something interesting and fun and hopefully funny as well. Give you a little laugh because laughter is important. And uh, yeah, just keep your chin up and don't, don't let yourself get down too much. You're going to get down. Um, there are ways of looking at the bigger picture. One little... One little tactic, I was getting really overwhelmed lastly, last week and my husband and I were, we were having a hard time and we talked it through and my next goal is to actually write down, not a storyboard, I, <laughs> I've never done a storyboard, but, but write down a big picture list of the things that I want to get accomplished. I'm just going to write down a list. I'm not going to do a timeline because I think that just that gets, I'm the type of personality or the type of person that if I don't accomplish a goal, when I say I do, I get really frustrated and flustered and things like that. And you can't always accomplish things at the exact time that you 
want to. So I think a better way for me, for my personality type, is to write down a list of things that I want to accomplish. And then once I accomplish them, even the little things, just check them off. Kind of like when Michael Scott starts Michael Scott Paper Company, if you ever watch The Office, The American Office, and he's, he's trying to start his new company and he gets all overwhelmed and Pam comes over and she's like, all right, let's write a list. Look, you've made an unusually large pancake breakfast, check. So got that accomplished. And once you make those check marks and you see that you actually have accomplished something, then, then you'll be able to know that you're, you're making your way down the list. So that's my next little goal. And yeah, I hope, I hope, um, I, I hope I touched upon everything. Ooh, yeah, I'll, I'll make more videos if I forgot to mention anything. My next video, I'm going to make some bonnets. And uh, I'll be talking, well, I'll be talking, I have an exciting new announcement to make about a new website, but I won't mention it yet. Other than that, I would invite you to check out my website, AllegraRoseBrown.com, or follow me on Instagram, AllegraRoseBrown. And stay tuned for more videos, and again, keep your chin up out there. And you're going to be awesome. You're going to have an amazing life if you, you obviously already do. So anyway, bye. Have a good day.